it's important that you experience somebody through all of the seasons before you decide that you want to be in a relationship with them. Because you have to know how he or she is under stress. You have to know how they are when they're happy, how they are when they're sad, when they're mad, when with money, without money, when life go, when life start life Are they gonna say by the way, guys, before we start the video, I have a um, free ebook in the description if you need any help on anything dating related or how to get your mindset right when it comes to dating. I have a free ebook in the description, so make sure you go ahead and cop that. Link is below. That's why it's important to, like she's saying right now, getting to know people throughout every season so you can see the ugly side of them, so you can see what they like, see if they a cleanly person. You know what I'm saying? But oh. I need to go figure my life out. I'll catch up with you later. Or are they going to say, we need to figure what, out what we got to do because I'm feeling this way. And I really, I really need some mental support from you right now. Which way are they going to go? How, how do you fit into that equation? Because oftentimes what happens is because we don't know how people are through different, uh, different mind states, we end up losing in some kind of way and not only just you but they lose too because you was once a part of their life and now they deciding that they want to go this way or whatever the case is so it's important for you to experience somebody through all their seasons before you decide that hey i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna be in relationship with this person and i know because i'm like that too we feel what it is we feel and we want to move and da 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 but at the same time and again, I like what she's saying, man. You, you can't move based off feelings, man. A lot of times, man, we move based off feelings. That's how I moved for so many years. I'm like, man, I really like this woman. I ain't never had a woman that looked like this. And that's where we ended at. But what I'm saying is we end things superficially. We like that they make a lot of money. They look good on paper. They look good or they make a lot of money. They got a nice car. And we end it there. Get into substance. We don't ever pace ourselves. You know, so many people in this you know, I call this Instagram generation instant gratification. In this general microwave society that we live in, we move so fast, we move so fast. We don't pace ourselves and pace is something I've been pushing a lot on this channel. Don't really do our due diligence when it comes down to that. So I just wanted to say that real quick. You know, there's a lot of things that play into why people move so fast when they, when you meet somebody new. And we know how it is, right? When you meet somebody new, you want to spend all the time in the world with them. They the best thing since sliced cheese, da 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 da. We, my sisters know each other. We got this in common. But the matter of the reality is, you don't, when, when you first meet someone, they can pretty much hide, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Corey Wayne, but they can pretty much hide who they are for the first 90 days. So that's why it's important to see, you want to see somebody at their lowest, at their highest, you know what I'm saying? When, when they're right there in the middle. You want to see them at all elements. And to do that, you have to pace yourself. You got to build that foundation, man. Rome was not built in a day, but we want to build it in a day. We want this relationship to, to be built based on a week. We move in with people and we just met them last week. That messes up the natural progression. Because here's the thing most people don't realize. You can't change who somebody is because a person is who they are, which is why it's important to take your time to get to know somebody because naturally over time, time is going to tell the truth on who they are. You're gonna to get to see all their flaws and you're gonna be able to decide, man, am I willing to tolerate this person for a prolonged period of time? But when you go into things head first, it's like that analogy of the, the bull, have y'all heard the story of the, the, the bull story or something? It's, it's something about a bunch of bulls, right? And this bull likes one of the other bulls and he wants to go head deep in, dive in, and go right away. But, but the king bull is like, you know what? We're gonna take our time, we're gonna fall back, and we're gonna get all of them. So the, the whole meaning of that is, when you pace yourself, you're able to see what's real. You're able to see the real person. Versus when you dive deep in, you're going after they look, so the money, or they look good, or they got a fat ass, you know what I'm saying? They got something fat back there. And when you go based off of that, that's when you become blinded. You know what I'm saying? So now the first thing that, that makes you go is the feelings. And that's not a good thing because that's gonna come crashing down. 
And that's what happens so much in the society because we're looking on Instagram, we see couple goals or we, we see that um, our best friend is married or our cousin is married and they're living like this. So we want this type of situation. But what you got to understand what you see on the Internet it, is five second highlights of somebody's life that they took a picture out of those 24 hours. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times we see all the good of relationships, but we don't see the work that goes in to, to, to improving it. You know what I'm saying? I heard this on, um, shout out to Cruise Season. Cruise Season, they was talking about how most people treat relationships like a car. They treat it like a car. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can go get a BMW or a Benz, but when 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 you need new tires or you, you need an oil change or <laughs> you need new maintenance, uh, a oil change on a BMW is not cheap. It's gonna be three times just as much as what you pay for your Nissan or your Honda or your Toyota. You know what I'm saying? Are you ready for that? Because a lot of times we want these shiny things, but we don't want to put in the work to sustain it. And, and that's the bottom line of this generation, man. We, we fall head, we fall head first for somebody. And then once that wears off, we realize like, oh, I gotta actually put in work. That's why it's important to pace yourself. Because when you pace yourself, naturally you're putting in that work and that time and effort to vet the person to see is okay does this person have the same goals as me if we have kids how are we going to raise our kids you know what i'm saying uh, spiritual wise do we do we got the same religion how are we going to talk uh, we, do we um do we like the same do we have the same holidays in common you know what i'm saying so those type of things are very important you know, also, too, we meet we meet somebody, man, and we just get rid of our whole life, man. We start going to the gym um, five times a week. Now we're going two times a week. We stop hanging around our friends. We start missing out on our hobbies. Pour everything into this relationship. And you never should put all your eggs into one basket, man. Like, life constantly reminds me that I should never put all my eggs into one basket. No matter which arena it, it's in, whether it's a relationship, I don't care what it is. Never put all your eggs into one basket because when you do that, you're gonna become disappointed. And again, a lot of us have un these unrealistic expectations. We, we, expect the, we expect this person to be our forever and maybe they don't feel the same way, but since we're going off feelings, that's when you become blinded. Or when you're going based off, you, you dove head in first, instead of pacing yourself, that's when you're gonna be upset. That's when you're gonna get your heart broken. And that's for me, that's why I preach this so much on this channel. It's all about pacing yourself, taking your time. What's the rush? Because if that person is meant for you, they're going to be for you. You know what I'm saying? If your higher power meant for you to be with that person or for them to be in your life or for them to be in your rotation or for them to be your girl, or for them to be your wife, then it's going to happen. But you need to pace yourself because nobody can take what's meant for you. You know what I'm saying? So all these men out here that we, we be in a rush to lock a girl down because she's the best looking girl I ever had. And or oh, I'm going to settle because I don't think I can get anybody better, man. You got to work on that self-worth. You got to work on feeling better about yourself. Because at the end of the day, if you don't feel good about yourself, that's eventually going to show within that relationship. And that's what happens. A lot of times we meet somebody and we, we going heavy, we going hard, we going in, but then two months down the line we realize like man we both really hate our lives or we don't really like ourselves so we can't pour into this relationship because we haven't even poured into ourselves and that's the whole message i want to preach to y'all today man don't be such in a rush man this, this society pushes us to rush but you shouldn't be in a rush man take your time pace yourself love yourself focus on you continue to have a life man and let things flow all right, guys, that's my video for today, man. I appreciate you guys for coming over to the channel. As always, guys, make sure you continue to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'm gone.